Welcome world back to the creation of the Oasis of Modern Design Aquascaping. Over the last umpteen years, we've been dreaming up this plan to transform this vinyl siding house into the most amazing high intensity, high detail water feature that we've ever created. Stay tuned as our team and our friends descend together on my house and demolish what I've built in the last 20 years during the creation of what we call the watering hole at the Oasis at Modern Design. Stay tuned, cause it's going to be amazing. Ow. My reason for sitting here with you is that um, all this crap is flying around in my head. Like this patio is sort of the patio-ish location. This is getting ripped out. Boulders are gonna sort of stick out into this area. We're gonna lose a little bit of footage here. Waterfalls are gonna come down over there and I'm like asking myself, how do we sculpt this area? How close do we want 30,000 gallons an hour to the patio area so that we don't have to scream over top of each other, you know? So it's about, it's not like we can dial the volume down. All flow is necessary yeah. flow. We're getting ready to dig this massive pit. It's a, I don't even remember. I want, I want to say it was about 6,000 gallons, the underground reservoir. So there's going to be a big footprint of a reservoir, a large waterfall running in, and there's truly no, other than the power lines, there's no limit on where we could put it or I'm thinking through future parking. Obviously, we've built right up to the property line up there, so if the neighbors decided to sell the property to someone else, we have that as a consideration that we would have to park down here. So whatever we do is gonna decide how far we would have to park and what we have to traverse across. I mean, if we put the reservoir over here, we have awesome stream running across uh, to the reservoir, but an now- awesome stream to walk over top of. Then we, got, then we have a big bridge situation, which I have, you know, we have a bridge up there, but I mean, we literally have a blank slate. And once we change the plan from putting the reservoir at the end and just having a kind of a straight runway down there, we just opened up the world to ripping out the retaining wall and the extra days of work and now we can literally do anything. So the reservoir could be right here at the edge of this. There could be... And with 30,000 gallons an hour of flow, I mean, if you actually want to have a conversation like we're having right now, I'd say you got to be at least We'd be 10 louder. 15 feet away. Oh yeah. With the waterfall. Oh yeah. And, and if you think about water flow, even if you're at the Aquascapes commercial 3,000 gallons per foot, that's 10 feet wide of water, which is like the whole area. I'd prefer to have the double that flow yeah. in, in channels. You know where I've gone, in my mind artistically, I've gone much more to the natural pores and less of the sheeting falls and more of the water off of a sloped stone and thicker water and narrower. So landing into feet. deeper pools. So five I, feet of I think we're gonna have five feet of water width. So we start building six inch wide waterfalls, we got 10 of them. We got just a lot of water to play with. It can't even hardly spread them out that wide. Mm -mm. No. You've got a big wetland that's running from the property line over all the way up there. We're gonna have to build all that up, do some retention. I'm thinking we just take the soil that we've been digging out for the last few days and I'm just gonna rip these stumps out of here and come in and just compact this all up into a huge mound so that we can just carve back into there and, and decide where we want that water. Because it's coming into this end of the wetland. It could come out of this end of the wetland as well, or it could come out of the far end or the whole edge could spill over. Yeah. It could be an entire, the entire outside edge of that wetland could be the beginning of the stream and waterfalls and that could just be one piece of liner. Give you a better visual as well. But but kind of right. like the clean slate. Yeah getting back to a clean slate, but yeah, you're right. You're gonna have pretty much some crazy wide waterfall. It's gonna be hard to get it far enough away to be able to have a conversation. We just have to be real careful about how we build them. Yes. So that we just don't have these big crashing falls. And yep. I still dream of the all of these beautiful carnivorous plants that we have. I would, I've never built a, a carny array into a waterfall and I just think it would be super cool if we can make sure that we have water everywhere and we can maintain these these areas I think we could have like 20 carny pockets all around the outside mm -hmm. and just close them all in and just let this whole thing just be infected with carnivorous plants and small waterfalls and we can just create this whole micro environment down in here I'm stoked yes I am too 
I'll put Aaron on that, bringing dirt down. I'm gonna get on the big excavator, dig these concrete slabs out of the ground that we're holding the cedar posts. I'm seeing this dirt mound coming this way, that maybe maybe even the reservoir is over here, but it, we can kind of carve in a curvature yeah, so that we get a, a bit of a curved in waterfall so all the falls are coming in towards this area. And then we got a lot bigger planting area up top here to do something. There's nothing else that we can hit here except for the power lines. There's a conduit that runs right down the edge of the pavers and it goes right through here. It goes right around the end of the island and it goes up there to that power pole that's up running the aerators to that, that upper pond. No. Should it, it be? It should be, yes. We should get that shut off. The hunter's doing the drainage. You want to go up here and, and work up top. I'll steal him. We'll get the dirt packed down here and get this ready. stones not that we can pick them up but they're coming well, at least you have rocks <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> at least you got rocks yeah yeah. Scotty, yeah well if you would have started picking your stones two years ahead of time you'd have rocks too <laughs> Why didn't you? Why didn't 
supposed to extend them out 25 feet over there when I can't pick them up six feet over here. We'll have to have a talk with the guys at Stowers about how exactly we're going to make that happen. Very curious. Very weird. Great, we can only dig so many holes before we have to build. The door is open, I could walk right in. Ooh, but it's so much harder than it sounds. I know it's closing if I just stand still. Cause you won't wait forever, so just hear me out. Come to me! Hey, my child. Come on! I'm coming, Daddy! Come on! I'm coming, Daddy! This way! Towards the corner! I don't want to get fell on, you know? I mean, if it falls and it lands on me, that would be... It'd be bad for me, anyway. ready to go. Tristan got a hold of somebody to come put a temporary gas tank in for us. And you can't get a 250 gallon fuel tank anymore. Guess why? You want to know why? You really want to know? Because of COVID. Ha, I got it. I'm done for the day. I don't have to say anything else because <laughs> of COVID. Here we sit. He's making fart sounds with the hose over there. That makes it more interesting. No, not at all. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. I just think it's, I think it's all good. <laughs> Got something in his eye. Oh, here, let me get this for you. you. <laughs> it's hard for me to see that. With my finger in your eye? 
Is that a tiny frog? Oh. Is he a tiny living frog? Yeah, he is. He's very small. Oh, that's weird. That's, that's strange. See if he has anything to say maybe about the design process. What's up, kind dude? Of, what kind of frog is it, Tristan? It is a toad. It's an old like. sticky toad frog. Look at him. It is an <laughs> albino Ben's trapped in a pipe. His entire oh, life. Thousand years. Now he's free. You've blinded him <laughs> with science. He's built like a toad. <laughs> oh. oh, no luck, huh? I'm pretty positive this is a toad. Yeah. Whatever it is, it just came walking out the pipe fast. You want to call a lifeline? You want to call a lifeline? Send a picture to Kenan. <laughs> I think that's enough to get us going through the day.